Hey, what's up you guys? It's Audrey and welcome to my channel. Today's video is something I haven't actually seen a whole lot of people do. I think, I can't remember who it was, but I've seen one other person do this. I mean, it's a point shoe collection. I don't know how interesting this will be to some of you, but um, I saw one person do it and I just, I kind of thought it was interesting um, to kind of just hear the stories behind your point shoes. Um, I do a thing where I write, or I used to write dates, but now I write what I did in the shoes. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is a little interesting to you guys. Let's just get right into the video. Okay, I've been on point for a year. October 18th was my one year. And I've had, let's see how many shoes I've had. Um, where's my first pair? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven pairs of point shoes. And here is my first pair. Uh, you can tell they're very, very dead. I wore these for like photo shoots. Like, it's not, I, like... Yes, very dead. Um, also, a lot of people were like, these aren't your first pair. Why would you dissect them, basically? So I kind of dissected my shoe, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, really, really weird. This is like, if you were wondering. And I went through all the layers. I wore these shoes a lot. These were Grishko 2007s. Grishko 2007s, which I feel like a lot of people have. Um, this was an eight and a half medium shank. Yes, <laughs> the sewing on this. We had to sew our shoes like this. I don't know if any other studios had to do that. I have the date, like I said, um, 2014. So there's my first pair. And then I wore how many more Grishkos? Okay, I only had two other pairs of Grishkos. Um, these will probably not seem dead but because I jet glued them. I went through Grishkos really, really fast. Um, and you can tell if I put them on, you could see my arch. This what says, I can't even tell what this says. There was a date, but it's jet glued over. Yeah, I can't tell what that says, but this is my right foot. Um, so I guess, oh wait, this was January. Um, January 11th, 2015, and I had them for two months, I guess, is what I was saying. Yeah, and I did not know how to jet glue, and I jet glued them really bad. You can, like, look. Oh, Yeah, Grishkos were not for me at all. I don't know if this was my last pair or not. Um, Grishkos were just not my shoes at all. And then, where's the other pair of Grishkos? I'm just losing all my shoes. Oh, here's the other pair. Oh, okay. So this says I had this pair for one month. Um, I'm not also sure what this says. I think that's maybe saying my new studio. It's saying Ballet Company 2000. I'm not sure what this means. Maybe, I think maybe I auditioned in them. Maybe. Yes, but here are my other pair of Grishkos that once again sort of seem dead. Jet gluing stuff was not my thing. Um, I would definitely look at the videos. You can tell something weird happened there. I don't know. So those that, those were my last pairs of Grishkos until I got the worst blisters, my feet bled, and then I experienced different shoes and I was like, oh, I thought that was normal. So definitely if you're getting really bad blisters, guys, get some different shoes because that's not actually supposed to be happening if they're just absolutely horrible and you get them every time. Grishkos are more for narrow feet. Um, so, yeah. Then, I think my first pair of Russians were these, maybe, or these. Um, okay, I think they were these. This is, oh, no, or maybe. These were my recital shoes, so these are kind of special to me. This is my last recital at my old studio. These are the shoes I wore. Also, you can tell I take the ribbons and stuff usually off of all of them. So, this was 5, 12, 15. So, left recital 2K15. Pretty, pretty worn. Yeah, these are pretty, you can tell. Very squishy. And pretty bendable, wow. I think I might have wore these out in a photo shoot. I don't know. They look a little dirty. So... I think that might have been my first pair. Or no, these were my first pair. 
These are really ratchet. These were my first pair of, yep. This was the fourth month and these were style shoes. Um, these are super dead. I wore these on a photo shoot. And this was the first time I tried to darn my shoes. I don't do that anymore. I didn't have the right kind of yarn either. Um, so they're, they're pretty, this shoe's more. I don't know why it's more. This was fourth month, 20th, 2015. I also duct taped them. This is actually washi tape duct tape instead guys so that pair nothing really special i think these were for a lot of rehearsals for recital recital and then my next pair of russians were either i think they were these were the next pair after that i think i started not writing the dates after that um yeah i don't think these are hard shanks these are don't probably seem very dead to a lot of people but I cannot wear my shoes too long when they don't start supporting me. But those are the shoes, the box. I think these were just normal shoes. Nothing really special about these. And then these ones. And I love these shoes. They were so pretty. Um, I believe these are the ones I'm thinking of. Or unless they're those. Super dead. I danced around in the house in these a lot. They probably don't even look very dirty to anyone like if you see that but I just kind of went through these pretty fast nothing really special about those um I think maybe I think this actually came in between those last two I had to get these because that's when I started ordering Russian hard shanks because I was going through them as you can tell too fast um so then I they didn't if you order I don't know if anyone's done this if you have to order point shoes it takes a few weeks um, you don't get it obviously right then so I had to go with a shoe so I tried these blocks and blocks are if you have blocks I have nothing against those um, I know a lot of first-time people get those they're not my favorite shoes though um, just how they look aren't very pretty to me especially on my feet I didn't love them a lot so these really are not very dead they're just bendable but and the boxes as you can tell i really did not like these shoes this what month was this since they have like carpet insoles um i don't know oh 5 15 15 i think maybe it's six i don't know so i did not like these shoes then then i guess it's this shoe next well there were two more russians i i did that wrong um then these are my nope these <laughs> sorry first oe this is when i started writing what i did in my shoes so um it says first oe 2015 um nutcracker rehearsal snow flowers and angel i wrote what i did in them and i think this is the shoe that goes with it but i just wrote in one of them and then my actual nutcracker shoes so i went through i wore these for all the rehearsals i think and then near the end i started wearing these and this i wrote first nutcracker 2015 first cinderella rehearsal 2016 i wrote that in both of these these are pretty dead um so and these were my last shoes that I've been wearing until I just actually finished showing my new ones. These that I wore for Nucker rehearsal, <laughs> really dead. I don't even know why these look so dead. I think I wore them for a while. And then to my newest pair of shoes that will soon have a story. Um, yeah, these I literally just finished showing. Sewing. I think I might do a breaking in point shoes video, so maybe I'll do this on camera. So I just did the elastics and all that. Really, yeah. So nothing new with those. Those were all my point shoes. I hope this is kind of interesting to kind of see the story behind mine or give you an idea, you know, writing the dates so you know last time you got them, what you did to them. Yeah, um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit the button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up so we can all be pals and I'll see you next time. Bye.